Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be talking about the email output plugin in Logstash. As many of you know, Logstash is an open source uh, software that allows you to collect, uh, process, and ingest data from various sources. And one of the cool features of Logstash is its ability to send data or output data to different uh, systems or tools. Today we'll be focusing on sending data to an email output plugin, which will allow you to send email alerts in real time. We'll talk about its benefits and how to configure it. So if you're interested in getting your Logstash instance to send you real time email alerts, then keep watching. And I always like to start with my setup. I have a three node cluster right here and I have a Kibana instance looking at the cluster and look uh, viewing the data. And I have an ingestion server running Logstash. I'm receiving syslogs from my FortiGate firewall to uh, on my Logstash. Logstash will parse uh, those events or those syslogs and will send them uh, to the Elasticsearch output section to be indexed in my cluster. So since the events are going through Logstash, we can use the email output plugin to match on a condition. And if that condition matches, we can send ourselves an email alert directly from Logstash. And if you wanna learn how to set up an Elasticsearch cluster and Kibana and Logstash and Filebeat and all the other topics, you can check out my videos uh, in this playlist. Here on the left side, this is the Kibana UI. This is a sample dashboard of, um, of the data coming in from a firewall. And if we go to the index itself to look at the index data or the events or the hits, and we can open one of the documents here and we can look at things that we wanna filter on or match uh, on so that we can create an alert. For example, uh, one good one is if you look at the action here, we have accept and deny and close. For example, I want to look at the denied actions. So these are all denied actions in the last hour. I can go here to the configuration um, uh, file in Logstash. Uh, we have here the input section, the filter section, and the output section. The output is sending to Elasticsearch. In the filter, at the end of the filter, we are going to create a tag. We're going to say if the action is equal to deny, add a tag to that event or to that hit. And I'm just going to copy from here so that I don't type. So I'm going to say if action is equal to deny, which is right here, exactly as this filter, add a tag called denied action. This is just a tag here. I'm gonna save this file and restart file beat. I mean, I'm gonna restart Logstash. I opened the other console so that um, I can output the data on the console, but I'll do that in a bit. Start log stash. And we will be starting to see denied actions with the tag added to it. Let me see if the tag is uh, showed up. Yeah, so the new events have the tag denied action um, added to them. So I'm gonna use this tag to create an if statement in the output section. And if we have this tag, I'm going to be sending an email alert. So in the output section here, what we're going to be using is the email output plugin right here. So it is under output plugins in the Logstash documentation, you go to email and it will send an email when an output is received. So it's exactly the same way right here, but I have more um, or other settings. I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna be using a uh, temporary Gmail that I created. And I'm gonna create, I'm gonna add this section here. 
So I'm gonna say if the unite action is in tags, we can output to the console. That's why I opened the other one. And email, which is the email output plugin. I'm gonna send it to this email. From, you can choose whatever you want. The subject, deny action at, and you can add, for example, the timestamp. Uh, the body, you can customize this as well. Via SMTP, I'm using the Gmail uh, SMTP. The port, authentication is plain. I'm using TLS. And this is the email address and an app password. This is not the password for my email. This is an app password. Um, you can create, you can go to the Gmail settings and uh, create this uh, password. So that third party applications can uh, send to this email. So I'm gonna save this file. I'm gonna stop log stash here. Because I want to run it manually so we can see on the console those events. Log stash bin log stash dash r. And the file will be this one that we just edited. So this is the installation directory of log stash. This is where you run log stash from dash r to if i want to do any changes in the file it will automatically reload the configs and specifying the file the configuration file so now any denied action so these are the events that are denied so they should have all the deny action and let me look at my email here and I received the first email. Oh, the, oh, I started receiving lots of emails, so I'm gonna stop that. And I'm gonna show you the configurations one more time. So I added an if statement here to add a tag to the event if there's an action uh, with the value deny. Send an email if that tag is found in tags, send an email. And this is pretty, pretty much everything for the email output plugin. This was a very simple uh, way of using the email output plugin. All I had to do was uh, create a tag based on the value of one field. You can add more complicated if statements or you can add more uh, fields, for example, if action is equal to deny, and if, for example, something like the device source IP is equal to this, if you want, if you're looking for a denied event from a specific source IP, um, so all you have to do is create more complicated if statements and add this section, the email output plugin in the output section, saying if the tag is found you can email yourself these are the settings for the email and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one